a so today um i'm gonna do something to the beamer today um right now i'm gonna go to either home depot or autozone to go get some paint and i've been looking for these bulbs for my car and i cannot find them i'm gonna see if they have them also as y'all can see it is a rainy day today kind of depressing a little bit but it's whatever i'm still gonna try and get things done today oh we're almost there i can see it from here and we have arrived AutoZone. and boom got them these were the bulb numbers right here and i got the right wattage and the paint boom made it back to the crib and now see these are what i was talking about these pillars right here that's like where the seat belt goes these are like towards the back of the seat like when the uh, back windshield is these i believe are the c pillars these are the b pillars and i already painted the the a pillars just for like practice and that's what we're going to use i used that on the a pillars also but it came out really good and if y'all didn't know this right here these are the reasons why i'm painting them they go on that and the older bmws like the glue they use to put these on comes off like it's not good and they start peeling if like that they start to peel off and eventually it looks like this so y'all see how it'll come out towards the end and i know some bmw people are probably gonna bash me for this it'll be like oh why don't you just go for the Alcantara like interior and whatnot, the headliner and all that. That stuff is pretty expensive. And to tell the truth, what I did to the A pillars, they look almost just like it. So if all I gotta do is have this uh, spray paint bottle and it'll look like that, then whatever. But I didn't feel like spending all that money just on the headliner and all these pillars and whatnot. I've seen like just the top headliner go for like $400. And then with the pillars even more so i'm like yeah, whatever to be honest though like my car is pretty dark i got like five percent tint all around besides the front windows you ain't gonna even see these things like it's just mad dark so it'll just blend in like nothing so i guess you could say it was more like a personal thing like how i felt about it but they were bad they were peeling off pretty bad so I seen another kid actually, I think on YouTube, I seen him paint them. I don't know if he used the same can I did, but he did the same thing and they look pretty normal. So like y'all see this, this is the first coat and it almost looks like the Alcantara inter like, interior. Like look at it, it's crazy. y'all see that yeah it's got some spots that i could have worked better on but look at that that looked way better than before i still have to paint these though this one right here just this part this is where like the seat belt goes through and i gotta paint the other one for the other side also your boy's having a little lunch break you know what i mean gotta chef it up even though they're just sandwiches Woo! chef brian at your service Boom, y'all see that? Nice and painted. We out here. So for right now, I'm just gonna let these dry. They're pretty much all done already, as you can see. They're all pretty much all done. That looks pretty nice. I mean, I know I got some spots, but like I said, it'll be in the car. You'll barely see anything. Nobody like ever notices and it's whatever, I guess. So I'll just let it dry. When I put them on the car, I'll show y'all. I usually give it like a day just to dry fully, completely. And yeah, I put it on the car, I'll show you how it looks, but I can't wait. Yo, what's up everyone? So, it's definitely been a few days, more, more than a few days since I've uh, painted these. And uh, probably been like two, three weeks, honestly. Got a lot of stuff going on. And uh, today we're gonna put them on. All right, y'all, let's see if I remember. I took these off, if I can put them back on. OK, 
Okay, okay, all right. All right. All right, so if I remember correctly, this pillar right here, you put this light through it, through the little hole, and then there's like these pins, this pin right here, probably another one, yeah, there's more. They were just, this goes here, and then there's one right there, so I'm pretty sure you just plug them back in. Yeah, that was the way it came on, just those pins right there. And then now it's nicely on there. But I just noticed on this one that these are like broken. See how there's these? One of these is broken. There's supposed to be one right here. This one's broken. It's supposed to be like that. So I hope this will fit. Like I hope this one is good enough to hold it. But this one goes to the other side that I'm about to put on right now. And like these parts right here, they would go in like there's a little space like like that they would go into there yeah so this one's kind of a pain because it only has this one right here to go into here but it kind of holds a little bit yeah, it's got but it'll hold it's whatever boom final product for the back though for the back all right real quick so i don't remember in the beginning of the video if i told y'all what tools I use to do this whole process. But I basically just use these, just a flathead screwdriver to pry the things off because they're all mainly pry stuff. And then I use the, a T45, you see that, there you go. And you don't have to use an impact like that, you could just use a regular ratchet. But this is mainly for the seat belt right there so that you can take it off. And for these pillars right here, you just need the prying tool for the seat belt. And this part right, the B pillar, you need the prying tool and that uh, Torx. And then uh, for these, the A pillars, you just need the prying tool. And behind this like uh, cover, there's like a little Torx. It's like a lot smaller. It's probably like a 15 or something. And then this just comes off also. All right, so I've been messing with this whole pillar just now, seeing the best way to, for it to go on. And right now, so you put the seat belt through this little piece right here, and you put this first because of the top. On the top, you have these two clips. They go right over here. And then after you get this piece in there, then you can start messing with this piece that, you know, goes into there. And then it's also because of this clip right here that it will help it out a lot. And this top piece right here it has like these little pins that go in there. And then there's another one on the other side that goes in there. But I kind of leave it loose right now so that I could mess with this so I have a little more leverage. So make sure that this piece right here slides like inside this piece. And then this pin right here goes behind like where my other finger is right here and then the same thing on the other side for this little piece so it's like kind of slides in all right so when you get all that situated and you slide these in don't forget about the weather stripping then those little pop clips you just pop these in Ooh, there you go same thing on the other side and then just make sure this whole piece is like over it and then after that don't forget to put the seat belt on it goes through this little slot and then you screw it back right there. And then this side should be good. And then you do the same thing on the other side. Behold, the Alcantara wrap right here. Hi, ah, yeah, right kid. I'm playing with y'all. Ain't no Alcantara. But fair to say, like, if you just looked at that, you'd be like, wow, that's pretty nice. But that's it, everyone. That's how it's done. Um, I did end up finding these pieces right here, the ones that were broken from that C pillar, but that's how you do it. Came out pretty nice, you would ask me. Hope the video was helpful for y'all. Anybody trying to do this on an E39, do me a favor, give this video a like and subscribe to your boy. And let's see what else I got for y'all.